too. up for your rights, fighting for what you believe in. We, yeah. Actually, I don't need my guitar for this. Because it's been very hard for me to get through this show up to this point and not forget about what happened last night. So I need to take this moment to acknowledge the tragedy the tragic killings, assassinations, and the senseless ending of precious life that occurred last night in Paris. It's disturbed me all day, and it's been really hard actually to get through the show, because in many ways, I feel, I feel torn. Like, why am I up here dancing and having fun? when people are crying over the loss of their loved ones. <laughs> However, that is exactly what these people want to do. They want to shut us up. They want to silence us. And we won't let them. in unity, and 
And I do believe that as much chaos and pain and senseless violence and terrorism that occurs around this world, not just in Paris, as much as that that does occur, there is more goodness in this world. We are here to prove it. And I'm not, I was going to cancel my show tonight, but then I thought to myself, why should I give that to them? Why should I allow them to stop me? People were having fun. People were enjoying themselves, eating in restaurants, dancing, singing, watching a soccer match. These are freedoms that we take for granted, of course, and we must not. But they're freedoms that we deserve. We work hard, we deserve to have fun. And there is no one in this world who should have the right to stop us from doing what we love. There are people who have no respect for human life. And there are people that do atrocious, degrading, and unforgivable things to other human beings. But we will never, ever, ever change this world that we live in if we do not change ourselves. If we do not change the way we treat one another on a daily basis. Yes, the way we change the world is not to elect another president, not to kill hundred, a hundred more people. The way we change the world is that we change the way we treat one another on a daily basis in the simplest ways. Okay? We must start treating every human being with dignity and respect. And this is the only thing that will change the world. This is the only thing. Only love will change the world. But it's very hard to love unconditionally. And it's very hard to love that which we do not understand. Or that which is different than we are. But we have to. Or this will go on and on forever. Now, before we do go on, I would like to have a moment of silence where all of us just for one minute, bow our heads in respect and say a prayer for the victims who died last night in Paris and for the families of those victims. Please, a moment of silence.
Right? 